In this video, I'm going to be discussing the threat for some severe weather across a portion of the central plant in southern plains next week here. We're looking at very warm temperatures reaching almost nearly 90 degrees across the region, and that's going to really allow for some really high K values leading to the threat for some potential storms to blow up next week, as well looking at some pretty favorable conditions with a ton of shear moving in the region, as well high dew point and more conditions that can really lead to the possibility for some severe weather next week across the central plant and as well a portion of Dixie Alley. But we'll be talking about all that later in the video. Before I get into the forecast, though, I would recommend you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I do mainly daily content on severe weather, or tropical forecast, long-range forecast, seasonal forecast, etc. So if you want to get updated every single day, whether it impacts you or family, be sure to subscribe because I will be discussing on those topics throughout every day every year as well be sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed the video and as well hit the bell icon so you guys can get notified as soon as i stream post or make a community post which will help you guys get an advantage of very new and as well reliable data but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the forecast so again before i actually get into the deep forecast looking at the long range gfs i want to stress that this is still pretty far out so please don't take anything on this video for 100% because we're still talking about a little bit less than a week from now basically six days seven days from now basically so i'd say mainly six days from now but still it's pretty far out however sometimes when it comes to severe weather and conditions look pretty right you can discuss it when it's a little bit less than a week out here so that's kind of what i'm going to be doing but of course this can still change but it looks very likely this could occur as gfs has been showing this for at least for the past few days here so we're going to start looking at mid next week here so good thing is if it does happen i will have spring break next week so i'll be able to stream if anything happens but uh, so if we get down to Wednesday here, so this will actually be uh, six days from now based on when you guys are seeing this video. And we're going to see some potential severe storms across portions of the Midwest, Iowa, Missouri, Wisconsin. I doubt these will actually be the main event. I think the main event will happen Wednesday evening to Thursday morning. But we could start to see a day leading up to that main severe weather event across portions of the uh, the Midwest, including mainly Iowa, potentially Illinois, Nebraska, and, Minnes and Missouri. If this does be, if this has actually happened, that will become more widespread and going into portions of the southern plant and central plains. But again, still no clear region here. But as we now get later into Wednesday evening here into Thursday morning, this severe weather looks to be really severe across portions of the south central and as well specifically watching for the Ozarks in northern Oklahoma, northern tip of Arkansas, southern tips of Missouri, and as well southeastern tip of Kansas. This is kind of where I'm really watching out for some severe weather, but there's definitely a chance for some widespread severe weather outside this main region that can very well bring in some threats for maybe winds or winds or hail or etc outside the actual main south central so i think we can have a very widespread area of severe weather across midwest and plains next week but i'm really watching out for the main event to be kind of more toward the south central we'll be having i guess more favorable conditions here but this is not look good whatsoever as we get later into now thursday which will be a week from now here it looks like it's going to be getting even more severe we got a pretty strong low pressure 995 millibars we also have a cold front in the region here, just uh, just outside of this low pressure. So we're we're gonna be looking at potential for some unstable air or an unstable atmosphere, but really keeping a close eye on portions of southern Kansas, northern Oklahoma, northern Arkansas, and as well as southern uh, Missouri, as well as some scatter storms outside to portions of the Midwest and Great Lakes. So maybe some scatter threats in that region. But like I said, mainly watching out for portions of the plains and Ozarks now potentially carry on into like Later, uh, later into Thursday here, that's going to carry on potentially all the way up into the Mississippi River Basin, to the Midwest, making its way into uh, possibly even Dixie Alley. So we are looking at, if this does come true, the GFS is correct. Uh, like it's been shown, this could be a multiple, multiple uh, or multi-day threat leading from basically maybe I'd say early Wednesday all the way possibly into early Friday, making its way towards Dixie Alley, the Deep South, and some scatter storms across the Ohio Valley. So I think... Although it's still pretty far out, that this, this this definitely has a chance to possibly occur at least the the south center part, not the multi day threat, but still keeping a very close eye of, as we are looking at some pretty uh, large and favorable conditions for severe weather development throughout the south central, Midwest, and Dixie Valley for uh, next week. Here, let's go ahead and check a look at the check a look at the temperatures here for uh, the high on next Monday here, and we're talking really 
really warm temperatures, getting nearly 90 degrees across portions of Kansas here. We actually may touch 90 degrees across Kansas, but in general, we're going to be seeing a very warm central United States here in central plains, actually warmer temperatures in Florida itself and potentially warmer temperatures in North Dakota than what we're seeing in Florida. So that's going to be very impressive. It's going to really allow for some really, really high cave values. And just because we have high cave values doesn't really mean actual severe weather development, but as we get kind of more into a favorable atmosphere, we have a ton of moisture, very high humidity. Uh, I think that's obviously specifically the Ozarks and South Central. That's where things we'll kind of keep a close eye on. But getting to the highs on Tuesday, we're going to be still in nearly 90 degrees and actually over 90 degrees across the portion of the Texas. We actually may get 96, nearly triple digits early in April, which is pretty impressive. But look at the whole eastern United States here and central United States. Very, very favorable conditions. Nearly 80 degrees across St. Louis. Nearly 80 degrees across uh, Minnesota. So either way, it's going to be very, very warm across this region. But I think I get later to Wednesday. Wednesday is definitely the day to keep a close eye on, not just for portions of the Midwest, but specifically the South Central. We're going to get nearly uh, nearly uh, 86, 87 degrees there across portions of Kansas and Oklahoma with 90s across Texas. So we're really talking some very, very warm temperatures and some as well widespread 70s uh, across the Mississippi River Basin, Ozarks. So it's going to be very, very variable for some very high cape. And as we get later into, let's actually go to Thursday morning here. Let's actually go back all the way to Thursday morning. We're still going to pretty see uh, some pretty good conditions across portions of Dixie Alley, portions of the Mississippi River Basin because as we saw in the GFS, they showed these storms moving towards the east by thursday morning and temperatures will still be pretty favorable overnight into the 60s and 70s so we're gonna start seeing some summer temperatures early in april so that's gonna be very a big concern here and as we get to friday late thursday into friday conditions still looking pretty favorable as far east as dixie Alley. so there is a chance that we can very well see a multi-day threat of severe weather not saying it's gonna be extremely severe or a big outbreak but multi-day severe weather uh possibly next week if it does plan out how we're looking at so we get into Monday, we're going to be seeing some pretty high cave across much of the upper Midwest and Central Plain. This won't be severe weather related necessarily because this is Monday, uh, two days before the actual potential beginning of the severe weather event. We're looking at nearly 2,000 joules per kilogram across portions of the Midwest with widespread of 1,000 of 1,500. So pretty high cave as a result of these very warm temperatures. And as we now get later now into Tuesday, uh, still some pretty nice cape, nothing severe weather related, getting nearly 2,000, actually just over 2,000 joules per, per kilogram across portions of Kansas to Oklahoma, but still some pretty nice widespread cape values across the Midwest and uh, Central Plains. But when I get into now Wednesday morning here, we get uh, Wednesday morning, we're going to start seeing that severe weather. Uh, really become a big threat across Kansas here. Like I said, really Wednesday is going to be really the big threat, specifically Wednesday evening to Thursday morning. So Wednesday evening, we're going to get nearly 3,000 joules per kilogram. And the fact that we're already seeing 3,000 joules per kilogram reading when it's basically just a little over than a week out, it's very, I guess, intriguing that they already have the GFS over 3,000 or nearly, nearly 3,000 joules per kilogram very close around 2,800 and it's basically a week out. So really, if we get closer and this continues to be a trend, could we see some really high K values over 3,500? I mean, we're still talking 80s and 90s for three days adding up, accumulating very high cape. So I think there's a very good chance for way high, way higher than 2,800 juice per kilogram. But really concerning that they're already showing the very high numbers like that early on. But like I said, look at Kansas there, you got Missouri, so as well northern Oklahoma, so just outside, just outside the Ozarks. But based on the Cape, looks like some really favorable severe weather development across specifically the South Central. And again, if you guys saw my April forecast, which came out, I believe, uh, yesterday, something like that, or no, two days ago, um, I highlighted the South Central probably being one of the, uh, I guess, main areas of development of for severe weather this month. Um, so that's going to be very interesting here as well. That's going to carry on possibly to the deep south and Dixie Alley as we get late into Thursday. It was in pretty nice conditions of over 2,000 joules per, per kilogram. So still 
I'm really mainly focusing on the South Central, specifically, specifically Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, out of everything, but as well watching possibly maybe some storms in Iowa, Illinois, Nebraska, and then possibly a small chance for some storms carrying on into Dixie Alley. But Dixie Alley is my least concern as of now. My main concern for severe weather development or um, event will be kind of towards the Ozarks and South Central. Humidity will actually be a, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere and all that. That's kind of what we also got to keep a close eye on. And yes, it looks like this there will be. So it's going to be almost a whole week of very extreme moisture adding up uh, into that potential severe weather event. So it's a Tuesday. We're seeing some pretty high amounts of humidity across much of the central, east central United States, basically seeing even 100% um, humidity there across the deep, the deep south central into Texas and some widespread upper 70s and as a high as the low 90s uh, in the Midwest here. And that'll continue to increase as we now get later into Wednesday, the actual day, the main day of the event here possibly. And we'll be seeing some pretty nice uh, amount of humidity across these areas of the Ozarks, seeing uh, 80s, 90s, so pretty, pretty nice. And as well, it's gonna carry on to the Midwest and as well Dixie I. So if anything does happen in those areas like Iowa, potentially Illinois, gotta keep a close eye on maybe some small severe weather. Got to keep a close eye on that because there will be some pretty, at least, favorable conditions for some type of severe weather. And as well, Dixie, I'm going to be seeing nearly 100% humidity for some areas across Alabama and Mississippi. So as well, if it does become a multi-day threat, once it leaves the, once it actually, uh, when, once the main event's over in the South Central moves east with that low pressure, we got to keep a close eye on Dixie, I, because like I said, we're going to be seeing well over uh, seven, getting to the mid-70s and low-80s uh late next week to thursday and friday and as well really nice amounts of hum uh, relative humidity so got to keep a very very close eye on dixie Alley once this main event is potentially over again so week out so the main event could very well be after the south central and dixie Alley can get hit really hard or they can't or they may not get hit at all so it's still a lot of questions here so there you kind of see that cold front there towards the west here you got that low pressure, I believe, like kind of basically right here. And you got got the warm front, kind of more moving to the to the north. So gonna pretty see some pretty favorable conditions there uh, as we get to Monday. Some really nice amounts of uh, really high dew points actually getting into these uh, widespread high fifties across much of the east central United States and as well as southern plains. But as we get later into now Monday, gonna get nearly sixties there and getting nearly 60 as well across portions of the Midwest. But that's Monday. Let's go down to Tuesday. Things will rapidly increase uh, as we get to uh, looking at dew point wise and get nearly 70 uh, degree dew points there across this uh, off the Gulf Coast there thanks to that, all, all that moisture and very widespread low 60s getting 60, 61 possibly even 63 in Oklahoma. And of course that's gonna be leading to a big threat as we now get into later Wednesday evening here very high amounts of relative humidity, or uh, yeah, relative humidity gaining 65 degree uh, relative, uh, sorry, not humidity, dew points. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say humidity, I meant dew points. And get to 65, 66 degree dew points across the Ozarks. Very, very high amount of dew points um, for the specific day we're really watching out. And even getting to Thursday uh, overnight, so it's been pretty widespread 60s. Uh, and the dew points and across the Mississippi River Valley into the southern Midwest, and that'll carry on to Dixie I, getting as very similar numbers, or actually, let me go back, very similar numbers, getting 65, even some 70s, uh, degree, de uh, 70 degree dew points across Dixie I. So, got to keep a close eye again. Uh, I'd say some slight severe weather for these areas, very slight, maybe minimal. Some big time severe weather across these areas, likely, or I actually do that again, some big time severe weather, or the maybe some really significant severe weather across these areas and then maybe some slight very slight minimal severe weather across these areas later on and maybe maybe some as well slight to maybe maybe significant severe weather down here so if anything if anything happens i want to be keeping a close out on dixie alley in the south central but like i said it's still a week out Looking at this shear as well, getting to Tuesday, very high amount of shear, specifically not just in the South Central, but coming widespread from the West and the Rockies here. And that's going to continue now getting to Wednesday, some really high amount of shear again. Wednesday's the main day, and we're going to be seeing a ton of shear 
across the Midwest there and as well across portions of the South Central. So got to keep a close eye on that and this year. And as we get later into now Wednesday evening, the, the time frame we're really watching out for. Let me actually go back. The time we're, we're watching out for with that really significant severe weather across portions of the Ozarks, specifically in the Arkansas and Oklahoma side, with some slight amounts this year on the Kansas and Missouri side. So it looks like the most amount we're kind of saying mainly to the south of the potential Kansas, Missouri area, but that's going to lead to some pretty big questions for Oklahoma and Arkansas, which is as well where we saw over 2,500 douche per kilogram. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.